Thanks, Chief Medical Advisor Dr. Anthony Fauci. Welcome back, Dr. Fauci. I want to start out by getting your reaction to seeing that packed stadium in Texas last night they're on the, at the Rangers home opener. Yeah, you know, George, that's concerning. I mean, we certainly want to see base baseball start getting back into the style that we are used to it. But you want to do that gradually, uh, you know, a few thousand at a time. But to just start right off, just essentially pulling the plug, I'm a bit concerned about that. I mean, they're taking a chance. It's risky. I hope we don't see any deleterious consequences of that. How, how, how do you make sense of the good news, bad news right now? We're seeing vaccinations wrap up at such a rapid clip right now, but you've got these variants across the country, cases rising in so many states. Help people walk through what's happening right now. Yeah, well, I think the best way for people to understand it, George, is that it really is somewhat of a race between the vaccine and the now essentially uh, evolving more and more of these variants that we're seeing that have a greater capability of transmitting from person to person and likely even making it more serious disease, also infecting young people seemingly uh, more so than the elderly who are likely more protected because they've already been vaccinated to a large extent. So it really is this back and forth. We're doing really, really well, George, with vaccinations now. You, you know we have you know, tens and tens and tens of millions of people have been vaccinated fully. You know, we have over 100 million that have been vaccinated with a single dose or partially vaccinated. And, and over the weekend, we were as high as 4 million uh, vaccinations in a single day. If we keep that pace up, we're going to be doing very well. But on the other side of the coin is what you pointed out, is that we're seeing upticks in cases in many states throughout the country, with particularly driven by this variant, 117, which has a better capability of going from person to person. It's kind of a race, as I said, between the really, really good news of the vaccine and the somewhat sobering news of this variant that's spreading more rapidly. And you said it's hitting younger people as well. So what does that mean for parents? What should they do about school and extracurricular activity sports right now? Well, you know, George, what we're finding out that it's these the team sports where kids are getting together, you know, obviously many without masks that are driving it rather than in the classroom spread. When you go back and take a look and try and track where these clusters of cases are coming from in the school is just that. We're also seeing at least one cruise line now saying they're going to have a cruise this summer with fully vaccinated passengers and crew. Is that safe? Should vaccines be required for cruise ships? Well, the CDC a couple of days ago or yesterday, I think, came out with a recommendation saying they strongly recommend it, but they don't require it. Uh, that's sort of interesting. They really feel it's important to get people vaccinated, particularly when you put them on a relatively closed environment, such as a cruise ship. So let's hope that the people who go on the cruise take that recommendation from the CDC and do get vaccinated. Dr. Fauci, thanks for your time and your information again this morning. Thank you, George. Good to be with you.
The upper Midwest had a 23% jump in the past week. The worst thing we could do right now would be to mistake progress for victory. Experts say the highly contagious V117 variant is likely to blame. In Minnesota, it's now the dominant <laughs> schools in our state where kids with B117 or uh, COVID-19 in general were actually found to, to be in school. And so what we're having happen right now is kind of a perfect storm. Bad bug, lots of opportunity for transmission. Despite these warning signs, more states dropping restrictions. Today in Indiana, the statewide mask mandate expiring. And in Texas at that baseball game, and the scene here yesterday, it was surreal. We haven't seen that many people collectively cheering in a venue like this in over a year. And what we kept hearing from fans here was twofold. Many people were not concerned about the threat of COVID. They felt safe. And everyone we talked to was excited for a day to return to normal. Thank you. 